This is a TrapCon free beats. The link is down below in the description. Welcome back, bros, to another brand new video review. And today, I have the opportunity to take a look at wave one of Mattel's brand new figure line, Street Sharks. And this was bought to you by Big Bad Toy Store, who got these figures in early and shipped them out immediately to me so I can get this review to you. So now that that is out the way, here we are with wave one from Mattel for the Street Sharks brand. Now, right off the bat, I've already removed the figures out of packaging so that you can see what comes with each character. So Ripster comes with a Street Shark cage. Also, Slash comes with a Street Shark cage. As you see, it's just in the packaging. And I took out his bonus accessory, which is the drill, which attaches to the face of the uh, Street Shark enemy. And then you have Jab. Jab also comes with a Street Shark cage. Other than that, that is all the accessories that you get with these figures. Now, before I get ready to uh, showcase uh, the back of the packaging, um, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way. So right here, Slash is measuring about five and a half inches tall when you count the top of his fin all the way down to his feet. Now looking at Jab, he gets a little bit, uh, I would say up to five and a half to about six foot, well, six inches tall, not feet. So sorry about that, guys. And then Ripster, he's the biggest one out of all of them because of the way of the shark he's built. He's reaching anywhere from about six and a half inches to about seven inches. So that's out the way. So you know what size figure and how big they're gonna scale on your shelf. That's out the way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Now keep in mind guys, it is keeping what the traditional figures had. They had gimmicks. So just showing off one right here, I'm gonna put a box right here and here we have Ripster. Uh, I have Ripster right here guys. And Ripster's gimmick is the same thing as Slash where he has that uh, press his fin to make me bite and then you pull back his fist and his arm comes forward with a small like uppercut and punch so and then they have the readout right there about each uh well this shark right here is ripster so he has his motto his forward one type his street skills and his main two so that's that out the way guys and then it, um, jab is, like I said, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to briefly show it. That's jab, guys. Nothing different. And then let me uh, show off Slash. I'm going to move him forward a little bit. Slash does has a little bit of assembly. And we'll go ahead and take care of that once I finish showing you his packaging. So basically, they're showing him that he has a drill accessory that's removable as shown. And then also, if you pull the little lever on his back, and the drill rotates. So basically, uh, everything else on here is just a read up about the street sharks, the song, the uh, things they like to do, the try me, and then small parts, not best for kids zero to three. So here we are. I just wanted to focus on Ripster first on the details on this figure. So right off the bat, the details on this figure look good in my opinion. We all know that this is recognizable as Ripster from the Street Sharks. He ha has everything that a shark would have, his gills, his arms. He's got his iconic abs. He's got his big mouth. He's got his teeth. Uh, he's got his belt buckle and his boots. So he looks perfect to me. He definitely looks like the uh, cartoon representation that we all know and all want. So Ripster looks good, and I think it turned out great by Mattel. They did a good job uh, keeping the details of this character to make him look really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at another figure, and we're going to swap the positions out just so that uh, we can take a look at this character. So I'm going to turn him sideways because I want to be able to show off his uh, drill nose. So yes, here we have Slash right here. And Slash was that mutated uh, sea creature 
I forget what he fully was, but let me uh, check on the back of the box because I don't want to tell you something crazy and you get all upset. So basically, Slash uh, is uh, it's crazy because it really don't say what he is. But you guys know what he is. Please uh, let me know what he came from. Like I said, I might have to watch the DVD again. Because uh, that's the only thing, Street Sharks, that I have. So, yes, guys, I do have the DVD. It is old. I'm not sure if you're aware when it came out. I got it when it first got released. Mine got a little wet on the outside of the packaging. But, nevertheless, I'm glad to still have the DVD so I can go back and relive and enjoy the Street Sharks cartoon. But, anyway, continuing with Slash, just looking at this figure, I think they did a terrific job on Slash. It has a nice purple gradient to the top of his head, to his top fin, all the way down to his face, where his eyes are orange, his teeth are white, his mouth inside pieces are orange, with him wearing this uh, navy blue outfit with the uh, piranha symbol, I guess, on the side of his uh, shirts. It's pretty cool. And then, like I said, he comes with that big uh, drill horn nose. So I think this is really good. I think if I remember correctly, I think he's a cross between two um, animals. Don't hold me to it. But like I said, guys, he looks great. And I like the way he turned out. Mattel did a great job on this figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final figure, a closer look at Jab, who is the last figure, a part of Wave 1. So here we have Jab back here, and then we have Slash back there. So Jab is like one of my favorite street sharks. Yes, everybody loves Ripster because he's on that motorcycle. But Jab is like, he's like, he's not the muscle, but he's not like the brightest one. He's like, to me, he reminds me of Michelangelo out of the group. So I like him the most. I thought it was pretty cool. He's a unique character. He definitely looks good. Like the cartoon CGI model. I don't have any itches with that. I do kind of wish he did have an open fist hand. Like Ripster, because I feel like Ripster has open hands because maybe he's going to get a motorcycle accessory. I don't know, but I'm hoping so. But as you see right here, there are two different unique hands, different hands on Jab versus the hands on Ripster, as you can see. Uh, I definitely like how Jab's pants came out great. I like how they got the rips and the holes. But I'm confused because uh, Ripster doesn't have any of the holes and rips on his pants. Uh, besides the bottoms right here by the boots, but I remember him having rips in the knees and stuff, but I don't know why they didn't give it to us in this toy form, so maybe they'll come out with a updated version of him with the rips in his pants. I don't know, but guys, these turned out terrific, so let's continue the review and check out the articulation. So when it comes to the articulation on the Street Sharks, they are pretty much the same. So basically, you know, you have the uh, joint right here in the forearm. So it bends forward like this high. So you get a 90 degree bend. You also get a uh, hinge right here at the wrist. So it can hinge in and out. It can also rotate. If you want to do that, you can rotate it. Now, the wrist, well, the... The arm on Jabster, as you hear, it has a uh, gimmick in it. So you really can't rotate that arm. But this one, you can rotate a full 360 right there, which is pretty good. There is a waist swivel, guys. Uh, there is a barely knee articulation, guys, as you see right there. You can have his legs for the, uh, not in that squat position, but to get him to stand. You got to have the legs in the squat position. So uh, the boots also rotate right here. As you can see at the foot, they swivel left and right. And then the eyes are pretty much stuck there. The head's there. And that's because of the gimmick. So that is all the articulation we get with the Street Shark. And then looking at uh, Slash because he's an enemy, I want to go over his articulation, which is going to be pretty much the same as what we got with uh, the Street Shark's articulation. Uh, like I said, it does bend 90, as you can see. Uh, the hand go hands in and out. It also rotates. The shoulder rotates too. Uh, no issue. It does have a butterfly on this arm. I wonder if this one has a butterfly too. So let's check it out. Nope. The Street Shark does not have a butterfly on this one. But on Ripster, 
we do get a butterfly, but for some reason, Jab, we don't have one, which is kind of sucks, because he's one of my favorite characters. So yes, uh, Ripster has the same articulation as Slash, basically, then. So like I said, guys, you can straighten the legs out if you want, but they have difficulty standing because they're sort of like big, bulky, upper torso figures. So you got to have them in that squat-like position. So uh, just to show off what I was telling you, Ripster does have that butterfly joint, so he could definitely get uh, a wider uh, wingspan if you want to have him out like that. We can also do it on this one, no problem. I don't know why Jab, Jab doesn't have that type of articulation. So that kind of like bums me out a little bit that my favorite figure doesn't have the same articulation as the other two. Next, here we are taking a look at the gimmick for each figure. So right off the bat, let's start from left to right. So here we have Ripster. As you see right here, as I said earlier, his gimmick is going to be the bite. The biting for this character is at the top of his jaw. So this is what you do when you pull down the shark fin. His mouth opens, and when you let go, it closes. So that's pretty cool. And then his gimmick right here, uh, I'm holding the feet because I can show off the gimmick. Basically, you take this back like that. If you keep his feet still, all right, guys, that's the hardest part. And then his fist right here, if you got it, it punches forward. So he has that waist articulation, as you saw, but his gimmick is built into it. So that's how you utilize uh, Ripster's gimmick. And yes, they're kind of difficult to stand because he's top heavy. So let's turn our attention to Slash. And Slash right here has a lever on the back, so it's pretty simple. This is his only gimmick is that uh, his nose drill rotates and works like an actual drill. Other than that, let's turn our attention lastly to Jab, who is one of my favorite characters from the Street Shark. So basically, when you pull the fin down just like this, you get lower jaw articulation. So that's pretty cool, and I like the way that turned out because it's different from Ripster. So, And then... Here we have his gimmick. Uh, I'm gonna try to, so look, as I pull it back guys and it goes forward, his hammer head goes forward and it's supposed to be head butting. So that's pretty cool gimmick in my opinion because he's a hammer head. So I think it works. I like it, it's cool. And his hand also goes forward. It's like he's doing a slight little like gut punch or whatever. Like he hits you with the, the forehead of his head and then a gut punch right there. So I like it, it's cool. Now, let's go ahead and do some comparisons with some figures from other various toy makers just so you can see how well these figures size up with other figures that you may have already in your collection. So for comparisons, here I have uh, just random figures from different uh, toy fandom that I like uh, here before you just to compare the size and show you how massive these figures are compared to some toys that we already have in our collection. So right off the bat, going from left to right, I'll let you know what makers made this and what the toy is, if you don't already know with these being self-explanatory. So basically, first off, we have the Knuckles from the Sonic Movie 2 figure made by Jack Pacific right there compared to all the Street Sharks and also the Street Shark Enemy Slash. Then we have the Optimus Prime, Leader Class, Earthrise, Optimus Prime. Uh, then we have the NECA 1990s Donatello movie figure. And then we have the Hasbro Marvel Legends, Miles Morales, Spider-Man Gameverse version of the Miles Morales compared with the Street Shark. So you see, this is what you're getting, guys. You're not necessarily getting the height of some of these bigger figures in the background, but you're getting a lot. You're getting a lot in the weight department, the width, and you're getting a lot with the gimmicks. So yes, I definitely like how these turned out. Who was made by Mattel, and I'm really excited, guys. I'm hoping that we get a reveal for Wave 2, where we can get the rest of the team for the Street Sharks, and the rest of the enemies will be awesome to add to this collection. I'm really digging the Street Sharks. Hopefully they give us different versions, their vehicles, and all the other accessories that we saw in the cartoon, so. 
So now we've reached a portion of my video review where I like to summarize and wrap up this review to bring it to a close. And this portion is called the Yeah Bro Pick Up or Pass segment of my video review where I get to share my opinions and thoughts on these recent figures that I just picked up and I wanted to review right before you right now. So basically in efforts, my goal is just to give you some thoughts about these figures. And if you decide to pick it up, that's totally up to you. Or you ultimately decide that these figures are not worth adding to your collection. It's also up to you and your decision as always. So, okay, bros, as you already know what I'm going to say, this is a pickup in my book, guys. I am a huge Street Shark fan, as you just found out. Wave one is a home run. It is money in the bank. You could take it home. These figures are must have. Now they are true to their original figures, which I don't have, or I no longer have because I had some of them as a kid. I don't have them now. Uh, they had these gimmicks to them and these figures still have the gimmicks that is bought back by Mattel who just picked up this line. They hit a home run with that guys. The street sharks themselves, Jab and Ripster are perfect in my opinion. Uh, the gimmicks are a cool nod to the toy. They are articulated more than what they were when they first came out. So we have more articulation in the forearm, in the hand, the legs, and so on. But like I said, I like that each street shark has their own unique way of doing their street shark biting with Jab having a lower jaw articulation and Ripster having a upper jaw articulation. So yes, I think they did a good job with that. When turning my attention to Slash, the details on Slash are terrific with the gradient going from that purple metallic to the teal green. He looks good. He looks fierce. He looks menacing. Uh, he turned out well. The logos on his arms look good from that piranha. Like I said, I have no complaints with these toys. Um, they were fresh, uh, freshly out of the packaging. Um, no loose joints. Um, they look good. Like the important details, like the eyes, the head, the pants, they turned out great. So Mattel, you did a wonderful job, guys. And these are a pickup in my book. So bros, if you're interested in picking up a copy of Wave 1 of the Street Sharks as I was, head on over to Big Bad Toy Store where I picked up my copy. And ultimately, I end up paying $24.99 plus taxes and shipping. And the reason why I paid for shipping, of course, to get a little sooner to bring you this review. But yes, guys, I am hearing as of today, Amazon is starting to get their shipment in and starting to ship that out if you would like to save and not pay on shipping. But like I said, guys, the link will be posted below for Big Bad Toy Store so that if you want to pick it up, you could definitely go there because it's currently in stock and they will ship it out to you when you select what type of shipping service you want to choose. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support, and not only that, positive feedback as a YouTube content creator. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video review. Until next time, yeah, bro, I'll see you soon. And wait, guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can be informed when I uploaded new content for you to check out at your earliest convenience. Thank you.